Well, hello guys and girls. I'm still alive. Um, for those that don't know, um, I finally caught COVID. Everyone else has had it except me. I finally got it about a month ago. Um, and um, yeah, like everyone else, it's pretty bad. I don't want you to feel sorry for me, just, just explaining. Um, I had it and um, my lungs are pretty shot since. So this is my very first match after being away. And so apologies for the coughing. Um, I was in a pretty bad way after this match, but we soldiered through and it was just nice to be on the bank. So anyway, tight lines everyone. Enjoy this, excuse all the coughing and uh, we'll have a little chat afterwards maybe. Catch you later. Hoping to catch on a hard pellet today. Just a hard four mil fishery pellet. Quite oily these ones. Different to the other ones I've had from here. <coughs> Someone's jet washing behind us by the way. So uh no idea. And let's see. Two plus two. Short, shallow, and edges. About ten meters. <coughs> oh, it's just nice to be fishing. Beautiful day. Got a few marks in just at the start, but I'm just going to uh, feed fours after this, and then meet. Not. It's in two little stockets right across. I haven't got the energy to fish long today. And uh, I don't think I'm going to catch a lot there anyway. Very little moving. But I've just come up onto a slightly uh, harder bottom there. fish straight in front top kit and one it's probably eight inches deeper oh, so I'm a bit out of touch with the place but it's gonna be for me you might get shallow hard pellet and uh, meat they're the three main things we'll see if I've made the right decision just coming into that shallower water not a wobble at the moment. We'll keep finding a bit of bait, shall I? About 10 metres. and still to be honest so to me that suggests it'll be edges and shallow well that's disappointing already I think he started there as well so. already I'm going to start down the sides because should have got a bite doing that not so much the bite <laughs> it's 
30 inches down the side, can't find any less water than that and it's a bit undercut and rooty down there so I, I might lose an odd fish like I say I'm a bit out of sorts so we'll try our best I have to stop off stop just a pinch of micro no ground bait just yet I'm going to do, I'm going to feed. Oh, I know what I've done. <laughs> Silly boy. Schoolboy error. I fed with my long kit down the side. So I've already fed a two foot pass where I want it to be. Anyway, at least now I thought it looked a bit further. That's me not being with it. Just come back towards me a bit. Hopefully it won't make a difference. Because it was only a 20 micros. See that's a wobble straight away. I think we'll get a bite down here. A lot of stockies down there I'm imagining. <coughs> these. Oh, first fish for ages. Right. I'm back. Time to sink. Two quick pouches there. Mate to my left started sort of top kit and one with in a deepest water with me and I've not seen him catch. So we just plug away with pellets here for a little bit. Just fishing four mil expander over micros. I tend to lift down the size on these pegs. They're trying to do you in the roots. If you're not careful. Let's feed a 
a little depth charge now. Just bomb it down. Been. fish as well. Stump sort of dictating where I can and can't fish. A little more fish down there. It's going to be 
shallow, I think. Very very shallow. Snag me. In the grasses. Just deep, just a little bit flat though, that's the only thing. Is. 
gone out as well, which is good. Oh. Fish just swirled about three metres past where I'm going. Oh, yeah, the carp coming up. That's what it is. Just mooching around. He ain't feeding. Double back out there. I see what happens. Two in the pointy bit. Little ones started then. I didn't see this. I hope that's not a biggie. Okay. Let's see what he can do. That's a ghosty, that's the one I've just seen. Honestly.
Well, two tiny F1s, sorry. So Let's have a little ghosty down the side. Switching there. Just, just about three inches off the deck at the moment. First truck on meat short, and no more bites.
shallow but they're smaller shallow so uh, just an inch over there mostly double mugger the, the overall stamps one well small but I'm putting fish in the net Bites. I think I'm going to win the pen. If I've caught like this, they'll be having 200 pounds on house pool, I think.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's a couple of days later now. Um, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I coughed quite a bit through that, and I was really bad after, really bad. Um, quite, it's quite scared and upsetting, really, to see how how poor I was um, health wise. Um, and yeah, so um, I was supposed to fish the next day on the Golden Reel qualifier, but I uh, I, I had to cancel. There was no way I was. It would have killed me. So, uh, so at the moment I'm just having a match, then a rest, and then maybe a match again. Or you know, I can't, I'm struggling. I can't do two matches on the bounce at the moment. I've, I sadly, um, but maybe this time next week I will. Uh, but at the moment, definitely not. Um, that really, really took it out of me, and uh, definitely overexerted. I promise. So I've got a hill behind me. Um, it took eight journeys to get my gear up and down that hill, so I was knackered before I'd even started. And after about three hours, I was just shot and um, not really focused or anything. Um, but your sort of your muscle memory carries you on, and you just carry on fishing, don't you? So, you know, it's only when the match stopped that um, it really hit me like a ton of bricks. So, uh, but anyway, I've ended up despite being ill. Well, I'm not. I'm recovering. Despite I'm not ill, I'm recovering. Um, just my lungs are shot. So um, yeah, despite that, I've caught a hundred eighteen pound um, and won the section. Um, one hundred and twenty seven pound won our lake, um, and realistically, there was four lakes in, and I would have said extension was the least likely to frame anyway. So um, so I wasn't too surprised. I was never fishing for anything more than a section anyway, even if I was a uh, fully fit but yeah i definitely could have had the 127 that won the lake um if i hadn't have been a bit lazy and stuff and uh and just been a bit more match fit um but yeah nice nice to catch some fish uh maggot fishing in the end i i sacked off my shallow line in the end because it got smaller and smaller and more skimmers and it just didn't feel like they were there and that and the edges were where it <coughs> where it was at so um, I ended up concentrating down there. A lot of stock is uh, in extension now, and um, you need them big ones really. But it was just nice to be getting bites and putting some in the net. So uh, I, I really enjoyed it. To be honest, it was good. It was good fun, and and still every every match there is interesting for me because every time I fish it's slightly different really. So um, meat short was a waste of time, and talking to a lot of people afterwards, they're not really caught on meat short, which surprised me. I thought that would be dominant. Um, the match was won, um, no surprises, off House Paul. Um, Peg 33's had £200. I'm really sorry, I don't know the name. I haven't got the list of names. I can't find the list of, of who won. Um, but uh, Peg 33's had £200. Uh, I think he's fished a top kit down the edges. Um, and then there was a couple of other big weights on House. And Jenny's, as I also expected, um, produce some really good weights. I think the average weight on Jenny's was a hundred pound, um, and uh, Sam Collett I think won that one with one hundred and eighty pounds. So he won that lake, and only a hundred and fourteen. I say only, <laughs> only a hundred and fourteen won Newport. So uh, actually, extension fish better than Newport, which did surprise me. I thought it'd be spot on conditions for Newport, and with some really really good anglers on there. Um, so, um, but yeah, so well, it's good anglers on all the lakes. So, uh, but yeah, nice, nice to fish a 49 pegger after first match after COVID. And we're getting there. As I say, I didn't fish um, the next day. I, I was supposed to be on a golden reel and I cancelled. Um, I let them know. So uh, they, they managed to take a peg out and everything. But uh, yeah, it wasn't worth the, uh, the risk. And then I fished a feeder only match at Decoy Lakes. Um, yesterday and quite and thankfully I wasn't too bad I coughed quite a bit but I, I managed I really took my time and obviously feeder fishing less exertion there and um, so I had a had a day fishing there as well so a uh, little small steps and we're getting there so uh, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for you I'm just trying to explain the situation I'm in at the moment so uh, there's people been in a far worse situation than me um, but it has surprised me what it's it's done to uh to my lungs and um yeah so uh just bear, bear with me we'll get there we'll get back to uh back to full form and i'll see you again on the bank 
pretty soon, I hope. If you want even more stuff on top of what I already do for free, then I do have a channel members area as well, and it's just £2.99 a month, and there's all sorts on there. There's over 40 films already, canals, lakes, rivers, you name it, live matches, sessions, tips, tricks, tactics, you name it, it'll be on there. Keep smiling, keep liking, keep subscribing, and I'll see you again on the bank.